So now let's talk about Delta reports. Let's go to scans and open reports. And here you will see the date, status, tasks, and so on. But here in actions, you will see here these two icons here. This one is called Delta, all right? Select report for Delta comparison. We use Delta when we want to compare reports. We want to compare the results of the reports. We want to see the difference. To use Delta report to compare reports, we compare reports of the same task. We only can compare reports of the same task. As you can see, if we go to scans tasks, you will see here, you need to find the task that has more than one report because you cannot compare nothing if you just have one report. Okay, so here you need to look for the task name and see the number of the reports. This one is not applied because it is a container. For example, this one here, Windows 11 Pro, we can compare this one, Windows 11 Pro, we can compare because we have here two reports. All right, and here I want to select this one, Metasploit table, because I have more results here. Okay, so to do that, we need to go to reports. Okay, we need to go to reports because if you click here, we will open the report. We don't want to open the report. We, we want to see the list of the reports. So let's go to scans and select reports. As we are on reports, we need to select the delta. For example, we have here Metasploit table here. We have another report here, Metasploit table here. As you can see here, we have the all reports, all right? We have the tasks here. We have this task and we have this another task. So what we need to do, we need to see the task with the same name here, Metasploit table 1, Metasploit table 2, we have 2, and select one of them. For example, this one. If I select this one, as I know that I have more than one report, I just need to click here. And as you can see, the system will display all available reports to compare these two. So now, if I want to compare, I need to go to this button here. I just click select report for data comparison. Just click here. And here you will have this tab. We'll see information, report one, and this is report two. The time report, scan duration, scan status for both reports. And here we have the results. User tags, we have no tags here. Here we have the results. Okay, we have the results here and we have this information here, Delta, and we have these icons here. And now I want to explain you the meanings of these icons here. These icons here, okay? Here we have vulnerabilities, solution types, severity, and so on. But we need to understand this information here. To do that, let's go to our manual. You will find this link. But if you want to open it by yourself, you can come here, site, select number 10 scanning a system and after that you go to page and select reports and vulnerability manager and now we need to scroll down till you find this create a delta report as we use delta to compare re reports we need to learn about it okay here we have this sign here this meaning gone okay the result exists in the first report but not in the second report means that the result exists, exists in the first report but not in the second report. This one and this one new, you will see the plus sign over here, the result existed in the second report but not in the first report. And here we have same equal, the result exists in both reports and is equal. And we have this one, the results exist in the both reports but is different. These are type of delta results and here if we scroll down here you will see this information here we can use filters to show information to display information according to our filter for example delta underscore states equal to g show shows all results of the type gone okay if you want to filter results with type gone we just need to type this okay results with with type new the same and change it we will use this all right we have an example here to use this all right so now let's go back to the delta comparison and let's apply this okay now that we understand this this type of result of delta results now we can go and now we are able to to interpret this because we know if you want to filter this you need to come here and type this as we saw delta underscore states equals to and we have here g for gone 
N for new, S for same, and C for change. Okay, you can type everything you want. For example, let's type here S same, and let's hit enter. As you can see, the number decreased because now we will only be able to see the status here is equal. All right, this is how you use Delta to compare two or more reports. So, right. Another thing you can do here, you can download this filtered report. You can just come here to this icon, download filtered report, and you will see here. Let me open. All right. And here we have our Delta report. Okay. We have the summary here and the content of the report. That's all for Delta report. This is very important. If you want to compare reports, you can use Delta. You can use Delta to compare reports. See you in next lesson.